Just dig a hole in the ground, climb right on down, place some boards on top of you and sprinkle dirt around. You will have to be dead if you only plan ahead. You'll be glad you kept the shovel. Hello and welcome back to You Don't Have to Be Dead with SRJ26. I am back on the moon and uh, it is light. It's kind of amazing. Uh, as far as I can tell, I think that means that the sun is in the right... Whoa. Yeah, look at that. The sun, uh, the moon that is, not the sun. Oh, okay, the sun. The sun is up and it is, it is rising, I think, which is really good. That means we have some time. Uh, what we're going to do at this time is a totally different question. I've got a cat writhing in my lap right now, so if I seem distracted, that is why. Um, I thought we should take a look around here and just sort of figure out what's what. Um, hmm. I think we might want to use this as our base and set up our solar panels and then set up one of these buildings let me see let's take a look at our map here um yeah i guess one of these buildings as the building in which we'll put our stuff looks like i blew us up a little bit over here oh wait is that a meteorite it's a meteor i believe if i step on it it'll like explode or something let's try mining it what happens when you mine a meteor uh it breaks break it flies away come back here all right i've got raw meteoric iron which is actually really useful for something i'm just not sure what yet but we got something else over here and i'm not sure oh i think i know what this is this is a dimensional door which we have avoided on the mainland uh, but you know what i think this might be a smart thing to base our our building around maybe let's go through and see if we can breathe on the other side because if we could that becomes an excellent surprise for us whoa what the heck is in here uh, well first let's see if we can breathe uh, good okay that's not going down 1808 maintaining so that means we're not burning air <laughs> oh my all right um this is kind of epic i'm expecting to be attacked any moment now but wow this is really what this is amazing i had no idea this was here um but okay this is my new base because damn I don't know if things will spawn in here if it's too dark, but this is really cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, it removes all need for, well, I mean, it, yeah, pretty much removes all need to worry about um, air and stuff. Let's see if we go back, we'll be back on the moon. Please? Yes. Okay. All right. So this is going to be in our house. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. This is going to be in our house. So we've got to build a house with this in it because too cool. Um, you know what else this means, though, is that if we're going to... Uh, see, I, uh, I can't decide now. If I can use this as my house, then... All right, well, we're going we're gonna to do that because for a while I've thought it would be perfect to have a dimensional door in a base, and that one is just too cool. So we will use that one right there, and we've got to just build a house around it. That house looks like it's cut in half. Why are you cut? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see another meteor. Um, we've got a lot of time, but I want to build a house. So 
let's build and let me see. Let's get rid of junk first because I don't really want to carry around junk. I'll just put this down here. Actually, I'll just I don't need it. Whoa, what's down there? It's like a cave or something. That's kind of cool. All right, so as long as I'm, yep, as long as I'm floating around, doofing around like this, I'm gonna be burning air, which means that I'll need a way to get, okay, let's see, uh, let's, let's think. Let's try to be smart about this. Tin decoration box, that's what we will, whoa, no, come back here, no. Do not want to drop that. Did I pick it up? Like gray, yes, I did. Okay, tin decoration box. All right, so this is the way in. So I'm gonna build on the other side of this. Can I go into the house? Like, no, I wouldn't. Okay, I'll just I'll just build over here. Like that, and that will be one wall. And yeah, I'm gonna want to make it big too. Though I don't have a, I've got a limited amount of. You know, I'm gonna, I can't decide. I don't know if I can use those blocks to make a structure that's airtight here. So what I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make my bubble machine because that's really more important. So let's do that. And let's actually go in here. I hope this is like stable. If it's not stable, I'm gonna have some problems, but let's assume that it is stable and Plop a chest down here and put some stuff in it just for now. Uh, okay, just drop junk off and that's good. Okay, so bubble. Bubble, bubble. Um, we'll put the bubble. This is not going to help because it'll just go out. Uh, we'll put the bubble right around here somewhere, which means we got to get the bubble out. And it's not in that one. Nope. It's. There we go. All right. Bubble distributor. Whoa, I just keep on doing that. Bubble distributor. Okay, so we're gonna put the bubble distributor. I'm not sure how big a bubble it'll make, so let's just put it right there. And then, well, actually wait, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, and then we'll pipe the, pipe the, pipe the oxygen to this from our our uh, so not solar panels, our oxygen collectors, and our oxygen collectors get powered by. I'm sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm barely making words today. Um, let's try six. All right, so first we'll do that. Good, 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 good. Okay, and then one, two, boom, one, two, boom, one, two, boom. All right, so six of those, and that will give us our power. So let's, and we'll save the rest for, hey, Cold Ankles is back. Uh, where is my stuff? That's the other problem. The only problem with having so many backpacks is finding everything. Heavy aluminum wire, that's what we want. So we go over here. He's been having some trouble connecting, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're going to need to enable. Sun's not visible. You're talking about sun's not visible. Good. Okay. Enable. 
and I think we'll be able to I think we'll be able to power uh, to fill up uh, oxygen tanks in that pocket dimension which is really nice so let's go make some more power and actually right behind this is where I'll put my my uh, my tree farm. <laughs> Sorry, this is new to me. I'm, I haven't done this before, so I, I please forgive me. I feel like I'm being really, uh, I don't know, inarticulate today, but it's because this is just sort of a bit of a challenge. So let's get our stuff. Well, I guess we'll just go straight like that. There we go. Oh, I need to have it on both sides, don't I? All right, moon turf. Get your moon turf back. There we go. And I'll go right there. Wow, everything's like bouncing weird. So my plan for the moon is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to play when the moon is uh, when the sun is up. And when the sun isn't up, it is so horrendous, as we found out the other day, that I'm not sure there's a lot of point. Um, especially since I didn't bring a stack of glowstone, which I should have brought, to be able to handle, um, ghost, you know, to, to handle the darkness and all that, because that would have been smart, but that was the thing I forgot. Uh, for those of you who have been following any of my other video work, uh, I did a prank on the Shaftlands this past week that was quite fun and resulted in me not playing anything for a couple of days because the prank was uh, pretending that I had blown up someone's stuff as part of a uh, hey CA vidding can't chat um, yeah so I did a prank and uh, the prank involved pretending that I had gotten in trouble for possibly in why is that not going away I don't know. All right, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll use that. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Okay. Um, yeah, so I did some crazy stuff, and uh, I obviously didn't get banned from the server that I'm a moderator on, but uh, I wanted to not be on it for a little bit so that I could make it... Whoa. 1477. So I could make it seem more like a real prank rather than not you know i wanted to, to to have a feeling of possibly having been a real uh real prank played on the server whoa okay i've got a lag like nobody's business here this is not good do not like this lag um i wonder if it's because cold ankles is on and so whoa <laughs> come back here you there we go all right so we'll not drop our backpack this time I'm really good at that. Uh, death attack overheat. Oh no, he overheated. All right, can we? Yes, we can. All right, good. We can make infinite water sources on the moon, which is wonderful. And yeah. So once I get sort of started to get set up, I'm probably gonna do some play off camera. I'm not gonna do everything on camera, but um, I'm gonna try to do a lot on camera because it's fun. Uh, let me just get these guys with water in them again. And there we go. And let's plant some saplings. And see if we can make this work. That's weird. I didn't know we're going to moon turf. Come back here, you. All right, so I'm gonna try to grow these guys, I guess, using, let me see. Oh, come on. Stupid gravity. All right, there we go. Uh, let's use that, because, because, because reasons. There we go. All right, so we are all out of 
bone meal, but we've got a whole bunch of greenery and that's great. So now let's make some more wire and we'll actually plop down our oxygen collectors because that's something we could do too. Where are they? Where are they? They're in the gray backpack. Let me see. Hey, look at that. Uh, oxygen collector three. Now, where do we put these? We put these over here. Um, let's try it that way. Yeah, good enough. I don't care. All right. That should do me. I've just got to get... Yeah, I've just got to get some more wire. And where's our sun looking? Uh, we're doing good still. Okay, good. Let's go back in here. I keep on thinking like, when I come in here, I'm going to like encounter some horrible monster that's going to attack me. As soon as I get relaxed about coming in here, it's going to be like, wham, you die. Because it really should be the lair of some horrible monster. I mean, not that I want it to be, but it really should be because it would just be perfect. Okay, more wire, more wire. Let me make some more wire, and then we will go back out and do some more work out there. Okay, other than the spooky sound I just heard, uh, I'm doing fine. This looks like a good base still. I'm going to go back out, and we've got some oxygen pipe and some, whoa, and some falling through the world. And we're going to try to hook up this stuff and see if we can get something going. Uh, I need to, let me see... I need to make sure that, oh, no, 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 there. There we go. And those all look good. Now, the power is going to go into which side? That side. But before it goes in, I've got to do something. I've got to have these guys connect to another thing, which is not in that. <laughs> I've got too many packs. Uh, another thing, which is in there. Yes, which is the energy storage unit. So we're gonna do an energy storage unit and that will then connect to everything else. So we will put that there. Hey, look at that. It's all charging up and everything. And then from here, boom. Actually, you know, that works good. That works fine. I, I, uh, no. Do I really need more? I really need more of this. Oh, man. All right. I guess I need more wire. <laughs> that kind of stinks. But it's collecting oxygen, and that is something. So, yay. Uh, we're 32. 32 oxygen. And our bubble distributor is there, and that's way too far. But I can do it. It's fine. We'll be, we'll be all right. Uh, let's... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So close and yet so far. And that's actually producing oxygen. So um, yeah, I think it's not much, but it's something. So let's, um, our oxygen is still doing fine. Let's go back into our little base here, our little hidey hole. Wow, this is the, I could not have built a better base. I feel almost bad using it because it's just so ridiculously nice. All right, let's do that. And then, that now. Yay, we will never need this much piping. But, well, I shouldn't say that. You never know. I'd rather have a lot than have nowhere near enough. So I still got a problem, though, and that is aluminum. <sighs> Whoa. It's got a problem that is not being able to put things down. And now we just need power. Hmm. Ah, I think this is a 
place for our wonderful handy dandy batteries. Did we bring batteries? I thought we brought batteries. It's in the Ender backpack. Battery. All right, so I normally wouldn't do this, but I really want to see if we can even get not enough power. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. That, my friends, is oxygen. That is pretty sweet. So when this thing is up and running and good, I mean, that distributor, that battery is not, you know, I don't really want to do it this way, but yeah. Um, no, just for fun, let's go in here and let's, do, do I have space to take? No, I don't. Man, moon turf, moon turf, I don't want to use moon turf. All right, well, you know what? We should at least be in a oxygen zone right now. In fact, it might be larger than I th thought it would be. Look at that, it's going and going and going. That's pretty cool. But it can be down one lower. All right, so we've we got a couple things we got to deal with. We need more aluminum because we've got to have our power reach all of these and we've got to make our power also reach this. And only once that's happening will we have a really stable core for our our survival here. Uh, oh, look at that, it's noon, so we're doing great on time. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting this stuff more set up. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the aluminum, but I think I might be able to mine aluminum. And if I can do that here, then we're in business. But I think for now, I'm gonna sign off and uh, bid you guys adieu because this is progress and this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, we're gonna have a base on the moon, guys, with a ridiculous, swanky, best closet ever. <laughs> this is totally the best closet ever. Um, yeah, it's kind of awesome. Uh, I've, you know, I've gotta take, I've gotta take the stuff off because I can't sign off without fully testing the ridiculousness of this. So let's just drop that off and let's just make a little space and do this. <laughs> um, guys, look at that. My oxygen is off and Boop, 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 yeah. I'm in a bubble. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, we've achieved something. We achieved what I wanted to achieve, which is proof that there can be life on the moon. I can even take off my silly little face thing. Yay, life on the moon. Um, I'm only going to be playing probably when the sun is up because it's impossible when the sun is not up. But I've got a cool swanky closet, best closet ever. And I will work on getting aluminum and work on trying to get this place a little bit more habitable. I think that that setup behind me there is going to work. So, And we've got a lot of leftover stuff to be able to make our space station eventually. So I will check back with you in a few days probably, show you some progress. Hopefully I'll have some awesome things to share. And yeah, uh, and I'm going to go help uh, Cold Ankles and Nail who are having some issues because they're overheating. I don't know. I might need more memory for the server. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. so many rumors, sometimes you get confused. But I read it in Time magazine, and I heard it on the news.